Now let's keep the certificates on hold for a few minutes because we'll use them right after Shibboleth installation. Before installing Shibboleth, however, we need to check Active Directory configuration. First of all, let's recall that the Active Directory domain is my domain edutmit.com. Secondly, I defined a user, adreader, whose password never expires, which will be used by Shibboleth to connect to Active Directory via LDAP on default port 389. And lastly, I defined a new user, Sarah Connor, whose UPN is uh, sarah.connor at mydomain.edutmit.com, which will get access through federation as soon as this domain is federated. Well, now let's go with Shibboleth installation, which I downloaded on my machine from this page. So I can run the setup. We accept the default folder. And then we have a couple of simple but very important forms to fill. The first one asks the external DNS name for this host, which in our case is sts.mydomain.edutmit.com. You remember, this is the host name for which we requested the SSL certificate. Then we have to specify the SSL port, which in my case is 444, because uh, I have another web server IIS running on this machine. Of course, uh, this port must be mapped on the reverse proxy as well. And then we can leave uh, the other information as they are by default, because they are correct. They are the Active Directory domain and the scope that this shibboleth will assert. The second form asks the Active Directory server. In my case, it's the same machine, so I can write localhost. Otherwise, I should have written the server name reachable by the shibboleth server. And then I specify the username, AD reader, that we saw a minute ago without uh, the domain name or the full UPN, the password, and it's done. In a few seconds, the installation is complete and the service is already running. OK, the installation is finished without any errors. Please note a couple of issues. First of all, if I try opening the Apache Tomcat server homepage that our setup installed, which is reachable from here, I get an error saying that the certificate is not valid. In fact, this is not the certificate we created. This is a self-signed certificate, which in our case is not enough, is not correct. Secondly, let's go back. Still from this uh, final page, which uh, we get after the installation, if I try to go here on the IDP status page, I get an error. The resource is not available. Well, we'll fix these errors in a second, but before doing that, let's add this page to our favorites. Let's close Internet Explorer. For the first problem, we need to replace the self-signed certificate with the one we have just created. So we start by copying the four files that we created before into the Credentials folder, which is a subfolder of Shibboleth installation, together with the self-signed certificate, which is this one, currently assigned to Shibboleth and uh, to Apache. We need to replace it with ours, which is signed by our certification authority. In order to do that, we need to go in the conf folder of Apache Tomcat and edit the server XML file. And then we have to replace the certificate name in a couple of places. Here, my STS, and here, 
my STS and the password which in my case is this one copy and paste for the second problem we need to change a line within the configuration folder of Shibboleth. The file is attribute resolver XML and we need to change just this line. The use start TLS attribute which now is true and which should become false. Well, we can now save the file and in order to make sure that the changes are applied we need to restart Apache Tomcat and then we test the previous issues to make sure that they do not appear anymore. First of all, you remember the Apache Tomcat homepage which does not present any errors now and as you can see we have the SSL protocol the right certificate for the second problem you remember we had an error on the IDP status page now okay we have uh, this error because uh, it's trying to open localhost uh, which is not the host name that we are protecting so we should write sts dot uh, my domain Okay, and as you can see, it's not a so interesting page, maybe, but we do not have the error anymore. Well, this completes Shibboleth installation. We'll come back in a few minutes, but right now we must go to Office 365 Domain Federation.